Welcome to Analytics with Nax. This is another video in the Azure Data Factory series where I'm going to talk about load exchange rate data from a web API to a skill server. To make it clear, exchange rate data meaning like you have a different currencies data uh, like each day, uh, like AED to USD and you need to convert um, from uh, any other currency Japanese uh, into USD right so where you need to fetch this data right that is first point that you can use some web APIs to get the data then finally you need to store it into a SQL server this can be achieved via Azure Data Factory that is what we are going to see as part of this video so what we are going to do today we have an open and exchange rate website that will provide us an api to get the exchange rates on a daily basis or latest basis or the previous day i'll walk you through that api how it looks like then using a data factory we will get that data and load it into azure sql so this is a, what we are going to perform it today this channel contains a free content that covers MS BI, Power BI and fundamentals of Azure. Please utilize this free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. And if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button so that you will not miss out any contents that post in analytics world. With this note, let's begin. So I am in uh, open.exchangerates.org where I will, uh, you need to sign in, right? In your personal or your professional account. Then what you need to do is once you are logged in, they will provide you the app ID. This app ID is unique to your login so that ensure it is documented properly. Using this app ID only, you can be able to access the any APIs. You need to pass this app IDs. Then you need to click on get started. That has a clear documentation over here, uh, which I already opened here. Let's try to understand it. What it provides is, it provides an API and you need to pass your app ID along with this. Once you pass your app ID, right? once you put all these things then put a question mark after that you need to pass your app id equal to your app id whatever we fetch it from this step then you will uh, use this link right in your now you can see this is your url right api url then once you use this url you get this data this is the data you're going to get use this data in your as a source in your data factory then load it in your target this is what we are going to do right now let's go back to our data factory now for this uh, in order to connect to the source uh, we have the uh, rest api right and that is you need to create one link services so link services should be search for rest so based on your need you can change your authentication okay i will going for anonymous right now uh, for this what this api does is this will get your latest data whenever you run it what is your my current data okay it will not go back history and all for that you need to use your another api which is available in the same website you can use that one for now i am putting a test connection now that's it now let me create one API here that is REST service API is the name of the link services. Then I already have a staging uh, the SQL server that is staging uh, link service. I will load in this. Let's go back and create one data set as well that we will create in the pipeline itself. Let's create new pipeline. Let's name it as load. load exchange rate as usual i make some typo here exchange rate that's it now to create um, copy data there you go and you can use the uh, or create the data set 
have recently created so i am repeating it for you so rest data set right and you choose the link service we created rest exchange rate v1 version 1 right underscore v1 let's try to create one and then you can see right now the data created over here right i mean you can fetch the data and preview the data uh, once you call that api now this is good over here let's go to sync and choose the uh, data set here i provide i will do the auto create i don't have the table created exchange rate so let's see the table exists or not you can see the table does not exist and we have set all the options over here uh, insert uh, auto create exchange rate dbo everything then one important step you need to remember um, since by very first time while i'm using it i got this error like you need to manually import the schemas here right once you import it whatever is uh, not necessary or you don't uh, require those right you can ignore this but this is very important step otherwise you will not get the required data so that's it we configure the source sync and mapping and ensure you use the auto create if you are not created uh, the table in my case i'm using it let's try to run this pipeline there you go the data has succeeded and let's try to refresh it the data has been loaded and surprisingly the data is not loaded in a column or format it is loaded uh, in a each column meaning like uh, if you see preview this data uh, how it appeared it appeared uh, as a um, rates and columns over here right i thought like the currency will be loaded in column one value will be in column two but it will not load like this so it is loaded in a uh, each column right it is pivoted if you need to be changed in a column and uh, i mean two columns that is currency should be in column one and value should be in another column then you need to pivot it like it should be convert the rows into columns i hope you understand um, the purpose of this video uh, meaning like we can able to load the exchange rate from a api it can be any api it is not only the exchange rate if you want to load a data from an api you can use this method if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries do remember that data is your